on your store a camper? If you take them all, sell them cheaper than that. Who knew that the stupid purple dinosaur was worth so much? He's a snob. How much is your brown and yellow lounge chair? Three dollars. You taught me into buying it and I got to lug it around. What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the US 21 road market. That's a hundred miles of yard sales stretching through rural North Carolina and Virginia. My daughter and I are hitting up these yard sales looking for items to flip online for a profit. And what you just saw here was my first buy. Bought this vented webbed lounge chair. Check out the comps on eBay. Should sell really well and for three bucks, it's a no brainer. But you also saw my first big mistake. That's right, I show you my mistakes on this channel as well. I should have bought these other two chairs. Check out the comps on eBay. Definitely should have picked them up. I'm sure you would have given them to me for $3 or less a piece. Can you get it for? There's no bulls right there. As long as it's a no bull. How much are these? $2 a piece. Skates. I need to get $50. Roller skates are definitely something you should be on the lookout for, but $50 was a little too much for me to pay for this pair. But I did get a pair of Chacos, a pair of Nobles, two brands that you should definitely be on the lookout for. They should sell pretty quick and for some decent money. But also, just like the last sale, I made a mistake at this one. I missed something. And hopefully this isn't going to be a theme in this video. I'm kind of seeing it as I'm editing it. But you guys see that blue vacuum cleaner? That's Ricar, right car. I know that logo, I know that name, I know they're worth money, and I just walked right by it. Didn't even look at it, didn't even notice it. I'm just gonna tell myself that she wanted like some crazy amount of money for it to make myself feel better. Here's Barney. Barney. How about that? Two dollars. New attacks. Is this is that an M&M? Yeah, it's Bob the Here's an M&M. Golfing M&M. Mm -hmm. Three dollars for that. Okay, so who knew that the stupid purple dinosaur was worth so much? Obviously Won't not me. You say you love me too. But inside that clear plastic bag was a bunch of random electronics, and the one thing that I wanted out of there was a blue parrot headset. It's basically a Bluetooth headset that a trucker would use to communicate on their phone while they're driving. Brought it home and listed it, and it sold in like a day for 60 bucks. So $3 in the 60, not too bad. Also, while editing this video, I was looking up a comp for a golf M&M, like the one I found in that bin. And check out the comps on M&M head covers. It'll blow your mind. Definitely a new bolo for me, and hopefully you guys learned something too. That's not worth a whole lot, but you can get it for a dollar or so. How much is it? Probably twenty. Dollar a 
rupees. Uh, if you take them all, sell them cheaper than that. I don't, I don't need all of them, that's for sure. I see this one right here I want. I just sold a bag of peas. And that one right there. I'm limited on my room where I take you up on that whole uh, buy all of them deal. You can't beat that. <laughs> I mean, that's buying you know, all with it. I bought that thing out there brand new. Really? Right here's a, a five wheel. I thought it was a hybrid, yeah. I saw that. Yeah. Got five of them. Our big stuff is gone. That's a good thing. <laughs> Don't have to move it back in, right? Well, we're going to go up to the 21 tomorrow. Um, and that's why I said, let's try to sell it. The big stuff right here today. Right. Um, then we won't have to haul it up there tomorrow. How much is your camera? <laughs> I calculated this morning left the instructions. Oh no! So in the cord and the cord and everything. So I felt kind of bad. I saw that afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what kind of music's on there. Our daughters. That's our daughters. How much is it? Oh shoot! I don't know. <laughs> Couple bucks. Yeah, that's good. All right, that'll work. There, it was seven, right? Perfect, yep. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> well, good. Have fun. And I'm trying to think what kind of music she listened to. She was all kinds of stuff. Um, <laughs> It'd so. be fun to find out. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you can tell by now that I love buying cameras from yard sales. They don't take up a whole lot of room, they're easy to test, they're easy to ship, and typically you can get them pretty cheap. I mean, five bucks for this Canon PowerShot SX260HS. Not only that, it's actually just sold. You gotta ship it tomorrow. Sold for $89, so five into 89 is not too bad. Also, the iPod, it's just a little four gigabyte iPod mini. People still want them. It's gonna sell for around $30. The weird thing is, it's, it's got a bunch of music on it. And to me, that's like invading somebody's personal space. It's almost looking like into their thoughts. I don't know, but it's pretty mellow music, just like some 90s country, some classic rock. Pretty cool stuff. So leave me a comment down below, what do you think? Is it a little weird, a little uh, intrusive? Let me know. What's your lenses? What's that? Your oh, lenses right here? He's got yeah, I'm just selling that whole pile of camera yeah. stuff there for, for $5. For $5. I know this camera works good. Yep. That one works good. That's a digital camera. Yep. Um, takes double A batteries. Sure. So. Five bucks can't go wrong, right? All right. All right, you guys get it. Cameras paid five dollars, so one for forty-four fifty. The rest of it wasn't really worth much. I was able to give it to a friend of mine who's into like vintage photography stuff. He was appreciative. I made some money. It's a win-win for everybody. So at this sale, I was actually driving by and saw something that I wanted, so I pulled in. And honestly, I'm kind of surprised it was there because it was pretty late in the day. How much are your shirts? I was looking at his friend's skins. Oh, a dollar. How about your shoes? Ten. Ten.
Sweat, sweatshirt. Dollar. How much? I'm sorry. Dollar. Dollar. Yep. All right. I'll get these two. I'll give you your hanger. What is that on your shirt? A camper? It is. Huh. We're kind of documenting my journey today. Oh. Well. Are you from out of town? I am. South Carolina. Oh, okay. Not too far. Are you just here for the road market thing? Mm -hmm. Yep. Huh. Yep. You want a little bag to stick in me? I can tote them. I got a little tote in the car. All right. I appreciate it. So I actually saw the Redskins shirt hanging up as I was driving by it, pulled in, and you couldn't beat it for a dollar. It's from 1992, vintage, single stitch, pretty cool shirt. Also the NC State sweatshirt, football season's right around the corner, so is colder weather, so it should hopefully sell pretty quick. Now the next sale, I was kind of disheartened because they were trying to sell Legos in bags for like 45 and 50 bucks. Wasn't much to resell there, but then this happened. Yeah. And then these greeneries are separate. Yeah, you want that yeah, you're going back to your room. Hey, man, <laughs> how are you? Let me get you on video. Get in. <laughs> well, just look who I ran into. I hit an estate sale, and of course, just nothing left. I'm Steve, sure uh, you guys I already know. I tried to tell him, y'all. He I, won't do it. He's I, 150 I bucks. He's a snob. I can't haul him. Right there. You look that up. I can't haul him. Uh, Five bucks. I, I didn't see that. Five dollars <laughs> for the entire set, but there's really two sets. If I was. There's the yearbook set, yeah. and then there's the encyclopedia. So it's 24. These are anywhere between 100 and 300 dollars because it's in great shape, and the yearbook set's probably around 75. I should probably do it, but if I was on the way home, I'd do it. We got to hold another day tomorrow. I'm full. I filled the truck. Did I make another mistake here? Should I have taken Kevin's advice and bought these encyclopedias? I mean, five into like 150 sounds pretty good. I would have definitely had to ship them. That would have been pretty difficult, and I would have had to haul them around for two days but would it have been worth it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. Also, I want to give Kevin a big shout out. He stuck around the sale for a little while, chatted with me, shared a ton of knowledge. He even hosted a meetup that same night where he shared even more knowledge. I really appreciate it. Super gracious guy. Make sure you go check out his channel if you haven't already. I don't know where you've been, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.